In this video, I am going to discuss about digestion and absorption. The theory is NCRT based theory. Food is one of the basic requirement of all living organism. Food is any substance consumed to provide nutritional support for an organism. The major component of our food are carbohydrates, proteins and fats. Carbohydrates are the sugars, starches and fibers found in fruits, grains, vegetables, milk products, etc. Proteins are large biomolecules or macromolecules consisting of one or more long chains of amino acid residues. Proteins are essential nutrients for the human body. Fats, the body uses fat as a fuel source and fat is made the major storage form of energy in the body. Fat also has many other important functions in the body and a moderate amount is needed in the diet for good health. Vitamins and minerals are also required in small quantities. Vitamins are substances that your body needs to grow and develop normally. There are 13 vitamins your body needs like vitamin A, vitamin B, vitamin C, vitamin D, etc. Minerals are the inorganic substances required by the body in small quantities for a variety of different functions like sodium, potassium, chloride, calcium, phosphorus, etc. are major minerals. Food provides energy and organic materials for growth and repair of tissues. Organic materials Essential to human functioning include carbohydrates, lipids, proteins, nucleotides, etc. These compounds are said to be organic because they contain both carbon and hydrogen. The water we take in plays an important role in metabolic processes and also prevents dehydration of the body. Up to 60% of human adult body is water. So, drinking water helps to maintain the balance of body fluids and the function of these body fluids includes digestion, absorption, circulation, creation of saliva, transportation of nutrients and maintenance of body temperature. Biomacromolecules in the food cannot be utilized by our body in their original form. Biomacromolecules are large bi biological polymers such as nucleic acids, proteins and carbohydrates that are made up of monomers linked together. For example, proteins are composed of monomer called amino acids. They have to be broken down and converted into simple substances in digestive system. The, this process of conversion of complex food substances to simple absorbable forms is called digestion and is carried out by our digestive system by mechanical and biochemical methods. Mechanical methods of digestion involves physically breaking food, the food into smaller pieces. Mechanical digestion begins in the mouth as the food is chewed. Chemical digestion involves breaking down the food into simpler nutrients that can be used by the cells. So this is the theory, this was the explanation of theory from NCRT and this is the diagram from NCRT. Thank you so much, like, share and subscribe to our channel.